You clicked on this video because you wanted to know how much protein you actually need to build muscle and burn fat. My name is Alex Mendoza, I'm an online coach and have helped hundreds of men get into the best shape of their lives. This is also a common question asked by my clients. So how much protein do you actually need to build muscle faster? Can you be potentially eating a little bit too much? My goal is to make fitness and nutrition as easily understandable as possible. So today, we're going to simplify scientific studies and explain to you how much protein you actually need. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button for more free no BS tips. I know there's a lot of confusing and conflicting information out there and you probably feel overwhelmed. So I'm going to share with you what's worked for me and for my clients. A meta-analysis in 2011 recommended a protein range of 1.3 to 2 grams per kilogram of body weight to optimize muscle synthesis. In other words, to build more muscle. Other studies show that you can eat up to 1.8 to 2.7 grams of protein per day if you're in a calorie deficit to avoid muscle loss. Now, if you're a little bit heavier and hold a bit more body fat, use 1 gram per centimeter of height instead. Because if two people are 170 centimeters tall, but one is 70 kilos and at 10% body fat, and another is at 100 kilos with 30% of body fat, the heavier person will be eating more protein which won't be necessary the individual with greater muscle mass will require more protein intake to be able to sustain and continue to grow their physique so here's how to find out how much protein you should be eating we'll be using the same systems we use for our clients and you can download it absolutely for free just by to be calculated on instagram first enter your height weight age and activity levels under base recommendations your daily calorie intake will be displayed in accordance to your goals on the right hand side you'll see your recommended macro intake i want to make it very clear that these calculations Calculators are used to make an estimate of your intake to see real results and what works best for you. You need to track consistent data on a week to week basis to see how your body responds and make adjustments from there forward because you might be a little bit different and might actually respond to higher protein intakes. It really depends on your genetics. If you're not seeing results increase or decrease by 300 calories, continue to do this until you see changes of 300 to 500 grams. You can use the dashboard to track your progress and if it's still too confusing, just message me what you're struggling with on Instagram. Again, if your body fat is a lot higher, start with one gram per Per centimeter of height. Now that we know how much protein to eat, how do we actually eat that much protein? Chicken, egg whites, or white fish are great sources of lean protein. You can also consider adding supplements to your diet if you have a small appetite, one more flavor, or restricted by time. Supplements are there to help you and make things a little bit more convenient. There's no secret supplement, no secret fat burner that'll give you instant results. It's just not how it works. So stop wasting your money on fat burners because all it really does is suppress your appetite. For supplements, I like to use my protein. They taste great and super convenient. They also have a wide range of proteins snacks like pancakes and wafers. A new clear whey protein actually just came out. It's called Pine Lime Split and has a total of 20 grams of protein. It tastes like a mix of lime and vanilla. <laughs> Shameless bug had to do it. I do always recommend eating whole foods for macronutrients. It helps with overall health and development. You can also eat chicken thigh, yogurt, lean beef mince, kangaroo, and even turkey mince to change things up. You can have steak or salmon, but they are slightly higher in fat content. Don't overcomplicate the cooking process. Keep it simple, cook it however you want. I do highly recommend using oil spray to reduce calories, especially if you're dieting. And no, you don't need to track that, just don't use a lot. If this helps, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you're struggling to build muscle, lose fat, going to the gym, but not really seeing the results that you want, message me Evolve on Instagram.